Oh my gosh, everybody's on deep me to the line. Oh, we ain't got to hurry and line up no more at the fast food place. The best chimichangas you ever eat in your life. Green chili, so much cheesy goodness, and some chicken shredded up so tender with great flavors. Topping it off with a brand new salsa. Come on, because we ain't going to wait for you. Thank y'all for dropping by camp, and the good Lord has blessed us today. Old Glory is sitting right there. Be quiet, y'all, because y'all know the wind could get up to 50 miles an hour at any time. But what are we talking about today? Something that you don't have to get at the fast food place. You don't have to go to the Mexican food restaurant. You don't even have to stop at the truck stop. No, we're talking about green chili cheese chicken chimichanga <laughs> deep fried in a flour <laughs> tortilla. Ooh all fried up in a cast iron skillet mm. crispy but so good and what we are breaking out something that we've been waiting on for a long long time and it's fixing to come to y'all what is it a brand new salsa made from traditional old chilies got that good smoky flavor just a little bit of heat but it blends so well with everything you'll be putting it in the nanner pudding before you're what? through but not only that folks we have a brand new barbecue sauce coming out as well. Y'all be looking for that because, hey, it is fixing to come to you. What do you need to do? You can go to www.kentrollins.com, find that salsa brand new, the Red River Ranch barbecue mud, because we call it mud for what reason? Because it'll stay on some meat and stick to your ribs. Well, got me two of them large chicken breasts and put them in a stock pot, covered them just enough water, just cover them plumb up. Added me some of that original seasoning and some of that condipolo, one little bouillon cube in there, and let it boil till it is fork tender. Now you can shred this chicken with your fingers, with two forks, whatever you like to do. And you might think, why are we putting it back in this mixing bowl when we gonna make us some chimichangas? Well, we gotta blend all the flavors in there. It ain't just like you're just dumping it together like they do at some places, wrapping it up in a tortilla and sending it out to the window and say, that'll be $12.95. No, we're getting the most flavor out of this by what? Recooking it again. Chicken is all shredded as is. I forgot to tell you to save about a third of a cup of that chicken broth, cause you might be gonna need it a little and just dump about half of it in there to start with. Now to that, we're going to add us some cumin. Yes, we are to make the flavors pop. After that, we're going to add us some what? Whole oregano. Now, I remember y'all seen me use this stuff a lot. I think it's got so much more flavor than that you just shake right out of the bottle. So I need to get you about that much, but I need you to crumble it as it goes in there. Some smoked paprika, which is about that much and also some of that mesquite seasoning. Mm-hmm. Give it a little shake in there. Now, hatch green chilies. Now, if you've got some of these put up that you have roasted and then peeled and frozen, hey, chop them up. But if you ain't, go to the store and get some of these. And I like to use two cans, and we ain't draining them. No siree, we are dumping them right in there. We're getting the most flavor out of this by doing it this way. So, got her mixed up we do, but we need to reheat it to incorporate all these flavors. I'll meet you at the brand new Bertha. Hey, you wanna cook the cowboy way? You asked for it, and here it is, Bertha in all her splendor. You ready for the most versatile outdoor cooking stove you've ever seen in your life? We got you fixed up right here. Made in Oklahoma, made in the USA. This new stove is 345 pound hunk of burning, burning love. Let's get it hot and get to going. Well, the chicken is going to sit here and we're going to bring it back to a simmer, stir it a few times around there to where everything gets heated well and all the flavors blend. But as that's taking place, we need to be going ahead and taking a shortcut because we're getting hungry. What? We're going to take our stargazer cast iron skillet here and we is going to pour us some good fry oil in there. What now, size is that one? This one here is what I would call the 12 inch stargazer skillet. Uh huh. Pour you enough oil in there to where you're probably I would say maybe a half inch deep. Make sure you use a good fry oil, what kind you want. Hey, that's up to you. Peanut oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, but you're gonna reach a temperature of about 350 to 365, so you want an oil that's got a pretty good smoke point. We're gonna keep stirring this till we know it's good and hot. Let that grease warm till it's about 350, and then we're gonna make us some chimichimichimis. 
Woo, chicken is warm it is. And what are we talking about? The assembly line of the flour tortilla. Mm -mm -mm. Now I'm using the hunkin' big size. I call it nearly cover your face size. That's what size we're using today. They come in assortment of sizes from all the way to four to six to eight to 12 in the jumbo 14, sometimes 16. Whoa. You can find them at your local grocery store, sometimes anywhere else in the street if they sell them. But hey, I like to use the Mondo size, not the great big ones. But when you pick the package up, make sure you got some bin. But guess what's better than the package, Shan? Shan's homemade tortilla recipe. We'll have you a link up there where you can get it. Mm, got that bacon grease in there. Whew, everything is good. So we are starting out with what? Some Kobe Jack and some Monterey Jack. How come two Jacks? Because I be liking them because they melt together and they fuse and it's a family reunion going on. So to start out with, and you can see we got them in precisely 7 sixteenths of an inch thick. Whoa. And I like to lay them right there and right there. Now, you want to make sure that you got enough room because when we fold, we're going to fold first coming this way. So make sure that these ain't sticking way out here. You can't be doing that. Make sure they overlap there a little in the middle and you got room to fold. So let's go to the star of the show. What are we talking about? Mm -mm -mm. Goodness we are. And just layer down in there. Try to keep her right on top of the cheese. The folks in Wisconsin are going to be proud again because we are doubling up with more cheese. I see the cheese inspectors are here. This is going to give you a tighter roll, but also going to help you seal any of that grease or oil that's trying to get in here. Give it a pull to make sure it's sealed tight. Keep rolling one more time. And guess what you have? A chimichanga. Well, here we are. The grease is getting hot. We own the brand new Bertha. And ooh, she is a sweet machine. She is. But remember I told you them eyes had come right out of her? We need to slide this stargazer skillet right over here. We got to make sure that that oil is getting close to that 350 degrees. Or if you don't have a thermometer, use you a little piece of that flour tortilla. Throw her in there. And when it begins to sizzle pretty good, you'll know you're there. And you can tell by the dancing tortilla, we are there. So folks, when you pick these up, and if you're thinking to yourself, I could deep fry these, no. When you deep fry them, a lot of times, this is gonna to try to roll and come apart. That's why we're doing a shallow fry, seam side down first, mash it a little when you get it in there, and make sure that it seals to that bottom. Now, these are pretty big, so, hey, I'm just gonna get two at a time in there. It's probably all that's gonna happen. Just make sure you always go seam side down, give them a little mashing, make sure everything is good. It takes about three to four minutes for this process to complete. You want to get both sides and the edges and you are good to go. Headed out here to film early this morning at the wagon and the crew is all with me. And everybody thinks they got to look out the window, but Mage, Mage, Mage is awake though. So that helps. Everybody is ready to <laughs> go. So excited on the way out. They'll be sleeping Mage. on the way back. Did you see that cheesy goodness pool like the one out there a half a mile it did? Mm, that's what I'm talking about. And you get that such a great Christmas, but you don't get any of that greasiness in there because due to what? Good rolling techniques and a shallow fry. That's what I'm talking about. But I mean, the goodness just jumps right out of there. You can see all that cheese and the chicken and the cream chilies, but I've had good help today. I have. They have traveled a long distance to be here. Some even sacrificed another nap to come up here to see us today. <laughs> Who likes a tortilla? Big says, I will take one. Thank you, Big. How about you, Mage? Mage says, I believe I'll have one. And Duker says, I'll have one. Sadie is too busy on the deer leg munching, so Big, you can have Oh, you're too late. Oh, come on. I'll find you something. Come here. Here you go, Sadie Lou. Aww. Everybody got a bite. They did. 
I'm most gracious Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for what I'm fitting to receive, Lord, because I know it's going to be good. You don't give me the talent to cook it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to step back for this one. <laughs> We're gonna need a lot of room. Lots of room right here. Everybody out the way, I don't want you to get stepped on. We're gonna start slow with the goodness of the flavors that flow down your throat. Oh my gosh. Mm. Chimmy, chimmy, chunga. I'm talking, these things is so good, folks. Mm. When you blend that flavor back through there with the green chilies and the seasoning that you mix in and reheat the chicken, that's what brings the flavor in there. But this stuff right here, you're going to want that on everything you got. Mm -mm. Well, we'd like to thank you all for joining us. We don't never take it for granted that you watch. And also, we would like to thank our live studio audience that we have here today with us. But also, as always, I tip my hat to all our service men and women and all the veterans who have kept that old flag of flying over camp. We appreciate you so much. God bless you each and every one. To the rest of you, come on in here because you know it's hugging time. We've got to be a better neighbor. Please share the videos and the food with your neighbor. God bless you each and every one. I'll see you down the Chimmy 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 Chunga Trail. Yeah, you know, you seen how exciting they was before when we was going to film? I want you to look at all my little subjects now here after we got through filming. Everybody acts like they're in a food coma and tired from their job. I, I, I get out, I don't know what's in there, but you don't need it. Right over here. Get over here where they can see you. He said, my feet hurt, Dad. What?